Uh, next up, we have uh, Bob Armstrong talking about accounting methods in COSI. Take it away, Bob. Okay, let me share my screen. Uh, we'll go. I'd like to start. Uh, F1 is a help, okay? <laughs> and uh, F11 uh, saves everything and puts down a timestamp. And if I put an asterisk after it, my clock is on. Um, okay. Um, if you, my background is is in well from the APL end, and one one you know thing I've come to understand over the years is if you are good at number crunching. No matter what you'd like to do, um, that's a word from uh, Little Abner, by the way, Druthers. Um, the most valuable numbers to crunch are ones with currency symbols attached. And um, so... Um, well, and, and that's that's in a sense largely because enterprises are, are accounting structures with people attached. If you're going to run a company, I mean, yeah, essentially uh, you got your CEO and you got your CFO, and the CEO has to be his own CFO with respect to the CFO. And the background, the, the market for, for APL systems in general and, and K is, is now pretty gangbusters in a lot of stuff, um, are boardroom systems. Uh, and that's why uh, the market tends to be in uh, money market, uh, money centers. Um, my own background, you can, you can go and, and look at, look at my Vita and, and, and so forth, but, um, I learned APL because I was trying to understand at least how you even can think about how brains work. And, and uh, that was back in the 70s. But I sort of um, got ostracized from grad school and Xerox pulled me east from Northwestern um, to um, uh, Rochester and I rewrote their long range worldwide market forecasting system uh in 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 APL and at um RG and E Rochester Gas and Electric uh made a uh a system for essentially their what's called a rate case um going and presenting uh their reasons for uh their uh tariffs and so forth to the state. Uh it's essentially their their corporate structure. Um, and, uh, what pulled me to Manhattan was, um, essentially the notions of, of having, well, this, the, the interface, the human inter interface and APL interface. And that's where, uh, I, I made the first version of Cozy and there's a tremendous amount. The fact that I still use F6 because it's in the middle of the thing would be a right click. But also, I spent um, oh a, a couple of decades, really, I guess, being the uh, trustee of the Mary Armstrong Trust, which had farmland in uh, in Illinois, and um, uh, to even go and uh, to, imp to implement tax schedules like ten forty one uh, trust uh, uh, thing. Uh, and that's sort of following the sort of um, structure that was used for the RG and E, uh, you know, corporate model. Um, so that's just my background. You know, uh, I finally got around to really getting my uh, my vocabulary up to the level of what I had in in, in K. Um, one of the things is. I know that this is, I've, I've pretty much kept from uh, 
modifying um, fourth words. Uh, one reason I chose uh, Ron Aaron's uh, Reba fourth is because the comet symbol is a vertical bar. It's symmetric. And um, you got parens for the asymmetric. Anyway, um, yeah, one alias I, I like that was on minimalist computing is is uh, dollar sign is swap, which is essentially equivalent to an APL commute. Um, okay. Oh, anyway, last week, last week, uh, last Thursday, uh, uh, there was the British APL Association Zoom. And there ended up being a comparison between dialog APL and, and me doing pretty equivalent things. And they were accounting sorts of things. Like they have a quad CSV, which does uh, CSV conversion. And that's what you, you know, so there was something about a 1200 I beam, whatever that is. Um, but one of the other things in, oh yeah, essentially one of the things is that just the, because it's all open code, uh, open fourth, um, just just immediate, you know, you'll, you'll see any word. Um, so that, anyway, because it's open code, uh, there's no question uh, whether you can or can't do something. And in the APL, so, you know, system is, you sort of you're, you're dealing with what the vocabulary is, um, because uh, here you can always roll your own. Okay, so you get down to counting uh, useful vocabulary and methods and daily inline. Okay, starting off with with my my. Um, Man, I've had more trouble with flies uh, the last couple of days. All my 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 personal notes are all in in um, a um, I call these jobs, and this f f this is file read, and then go and unpack that as a as a uh, a cozy uh, dictionary, and you know it's a process. Um, so anyway, if I pull that out, it it is this this uh, root uh, dictionary that um, all my my current text there is in um, a um, item named text. You'll see, and v fetch goes and does what you'd expect. And by the way, I have a comment symbol here. So first, this is this is what what the whole thing is, but it's more convenient to let me just remove this comment symbol and and just just go and find where the first uh, day of the year is and uh, return the part uh, um, after and including the first occurrence of that. So here's here here's my my sort of notes for um, the day, and I won't uh, go in, but you can see. Um, okay, the fourth last year was perihelion. Had a little gathering over here, but one of the things is you'll see that um, here, for instance, is a payment to Citibank. Um, so let me. Go and oh, um, add a uh, a result window, um, and um, one of the things is in terms of colors. Oh, colors and font styles. Yeah, I really want uh, uh, that that fundamental notion of same vocabulary, different context, uh, sort of thing. Um, okay. Oh, I, right, this is too, too fancy by half. I need to, I need to go and, and, um, pull in a couple of definitions from my account function files. So it's F read. 
And here, actually, I've made this. This is a, this is a, a a list of. You'll see tick returns the next word. This is a, a list of words. Okay, and and the thing is, I'm choosing the first of those, and I'm evaluating it. So I'm doing this R R update, and if I execute that, okay, R update goes and puts it over in this result window. And now, if I switch this for a one, okay, it's 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 doing the eval on those, so it's actually executed that script. Um, and uh, anyway, this is the definition of the of the word right that we need right here, right now, uh, ledger lines, which essentially goes through and um, takes the, the the text that. You'll, you'll see get used and and splits that on line feeds. It turns it into a list of, of, of strings separated. Okay, this is the opening of, of, of an execution thing. Well, I'll just I'll just go and read in all the text before and execute ledger lines on it. And okay, this is pulled out of my text. All of my, um, um, uh, whoops, got to get my over here. And I got, I don't know what this thing is with, with the flies that, um, here's actually a simple one so I can, you can easy to read. This, this structure here, um, uh, executes all the items in between and returns them as a list. So uh, I've got the timestamp and I need to take that off the stack and turn it into a float, uh, item, one item float list. And then tick cache is it's a from column and it's two, this actually happens to be the Teller County uh, uh, Republican Central Committee. And that was the size of my the donation, this is the amount, and then notes of anything. And so that can be, uh, yeah. Um, so, um, okay, now each of those is executable. So uh, let me execute it all. And here it is converted, to, turned each one of them into a, 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 a ledger item. Um, and um, then this is where I wish that, I wish I could see where the hell the cursor was to, uh, you know, so, okay, where, where was I? Um, Oh, okay. Uh, now, if I flip this, because this is a list of of, of five item lists, and if I if I flip this, I'm six now. Now, it's a a a five a list of five lists of of um, those columns. It's flipped. Um, and now that's actually the form, the most fundamental form of a tabular database. And, um, oh, let me go and, and I've got a, a number of functions that are format a table. So there it is as a table. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. One of the things to notice is, is on this um, uh, core, the electric thing, actually there are two meters here. So actually there are two entries, the two, the two different accounts that are, that are uh, uh, there. Um, and, okay. Um, now this, I, I'm just gonna, this line, 
which is is uh, essentially it's grabbing the third column, which is the amounts. And then because some of them may be multiple, it doesn't add across each of them. And then it's, it strings that out into uh, anyway. I'll just execute it, and, and uh, again, it's uh, formatted and update. Um, and you won't see a change here when I do that, but what it's done is um, added a column of of the of the uh, ba of the running balance. Okay, so that's that's how sort of my own internal ledger, and this, if you will, this is the general ledger. Um, but the other thing you have to do is, is take in, uh, accounts from the different accounts, bank accounts and so forth. And the CSV format, um, comma separated variables is most fundamentally. Um, here's my, my year to date on, on my, um, Amazon account and there are, uh, yeah, you see that it's all old. Let me, um, now to, yeah, I, I see I've got this, uh, okay, I've got T0 here. Okay, that's the, that's that list. And this, I, I'm actually catenating a, a line feed, which is the, the separator for individual lines. And and then comma, which separates the uh, different uh, items. And uh, let me pull that together. And then actually, I'm I'm using I have this function CSV to dictionary table. Um, that um, whoops, didn't mean to do that. All of that should because actually that left something on the stack. Let me pull this, okay. Um, that turned it into, well, T1, and saved it as T1. And actually you'll see, this is, this is, this is the most fundamental, this is equivalent to a, a uh, well, any, any sort of a data, any, any tabular data where you have names, name indexed, you know, it's a database. Um, and, it's it's actually got uh it's a it's a list of two lists and um each of them is seven items long it's split there's apparently six commas in each of those lines and the first of the of uh, item is the column names and the the well zero origin so one at this is this is the each of the the whole database thing. So I've got a function which goes and and will format the thing, and I'll output it. So there you have. I sort of figured that nothing was um, <laughs> the only thing that's that's uh, remarkable about my numbers is how small they are. Um, in any case, oh, first uh, I want to go and those names, I want to have names without spaces in them. So, um, oh, yeah, I wanted to execute this line. Um, and now, whoops, oh, I, no, no. it's now, anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's reduced those to, to one oh. Let me go and execute this again. That should do it. Yeah, I removed the spaces here. Um then um oh this won't be uh, this will just reorder these uh things. Uh, I, I just grabbed some of the columns. I think I might have deleted one or more. Um, and then, um, this, um, line reordered it. So now it's in, now it's in ascending sequence here on all of them across the whole table. 
and I'll save that as a as a this the T zero is is permanent. Um, so yeah, it's that's using this another this function that goes directly uh, fmt dt, and um, the, the the table out of that is is now that's the. I ended up making this word, which is essentially one at, but I, I found that there's so much where it's first or second thing. It's convenient. I mean, this is the thing is you can make language like, you know, only fourth. Um, um, anyway, yeah, to format that. Okay, now I got to change those. I've got a, a little word here. Uh, and this is where I start leading uh, you know, built in words that you got to know, you know, are uh, words in, in uh, dialogue APL. But anyway, taking that first, that first column, T1 is this table. The, the disk is, this close is, is the same as zero at, um, and it unencloses objects. Um, and MD, blah, 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 you know, anyway, what I've done, that saved that notice. Now when I do this, okay, I've converted all of the, uh, all of the dates into, into um, integers. Um, and then um, two, zero, one, two, the uh, uh, go and, and convert all of those numbers into floats and um, then um, this is the opening balance from, from last year uh, and the last result is always R0 and close that anyway go and, and append um, the um, yeah, yeah. Append the opening balance, and finally, I'm about through. Um, come through. Oh, I'm, I defined earlier. Got this. Uh, I, this function that um, table bow, and this is taking. The second uh, column, which is uh, the um, the um, amounts, and adding across them uh, and sticking them in in column three. So I execute that, and uh, there's the table. So now I have uh, this um, and. Um, I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna skip well I better not skip executing anything. Um oh I think uh, oh I changed the name of this to to Bell. Oh and now I'm changing all of their names. And now the final thing and I've I've done and stored it. So now I've got these these names which I use on uh, on across all my accounts standard names, um, and then I've appended the original columns that I'm not including here. So I mean, one of the things is you see, sort of structuring things, and and this is the thing is got to be open for business. Um, finally, oh okay, and then this I'm not doing. But this goes and saves it as a, I, I call it a, a cozy data uh, a dictionary table or whatever. And that converts it to a flat. I mean, that's what this word does and writes it to the file. So this writes it out to the file. And actually, if I read that file, uh, there it is read in from, uh, from the oven. So with that, um, well, that's 
that's a, another story there. Um, asterisk F11. And I'm off the clock and let me get off the screen and stop sharing and so how'd that right. work? Uh, thank, thank you very much, Bob. Does anybody have any uh, questions? It's the other end of what you can do with, I mean, you know, I'm listening to all these talks here and Don's going to work. It's all just awesome. So, but, but you know, it's sort of like, okay, if you really want to compute, compete in the real world of, of high-level languages, uh, this is, uh, yeah, the BAA, BAA, British HPL Association doesn't upload their, um, their Zooms. I think they, I saw some note about them having just uploaded June, but uh, anyway. Okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks again, uh, Bob. Um, I want to take uh, just a moment to uh, ask everybody who's presented to send me um, their presentation. Either it could be a PDF file or a link um, to a, a, a web-based um, document. Uh, please do that uh, for me so I can include it on the SVPIG, uh, uh, post it on the SVPIG uh website and uh send it to my uh, stanford address that i've just posted um i want to thank everybody for their presentation so far and it looks like we'll have time for uh for chris to do his uh presentation on review of soft core fourth processors so chris uh you can take it away Hello, first let me, oh, here in the chat, let me post the link to everybody. Thank you everyone, there we go. That's the, the slides. And now if I can figure out how to share my screen, there's the share my screen. And here we have, okay, can everybody see my screen? Yep. Yes, okay, yeah. great. Let me close out this. Um, <clears throat> 